Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making a set of resin coasters using plastic wrap. I'm using Craft Resin, which is a very easy resin to use. It's a one-to-one -one ratio by volume, so I measure equal parts of the part A and part B and mix it together for several minutes. I'll have a discount code in my description, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. After it's mixed well, I start to pour into each mold. I'm trying to pay attention to pour equal parts into each mold, and this one had a little extra, so I just added some of it into a mold that was missing some. Then I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles, and I always move it very quickly, not to burn my resin or my molds. I'm using this wooden mixing stick to make sure that the resin has reached the very edges of the molds. Now I'm taking some plastic wrap and placing it on top of each mold. And once it's on the mold, I make a few adjustments, again using the wooden stick. Then I allow this to harden and come back the next day. And here I am removing the plastic wrap. At this point, my resin has pretty much fully hardened, so it was a little bit difficult to remove some areas of the plastic wrap, though I was able to remove the majority of it. This might be easier to remove before your resin has hardened, but not tacky enough that it lifts when you try to remove the plastic wrap. And this time will depend on the resin that you're using. After I got the majority of the plastic wrap removed, I took this pearl mica powder and with a small paintbrush, I went over all the crevices. As always, I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in my description, so be sure to give that a look. Then I mix in my resin once more and am using just resin's pigment paste in the shade black. I mix that in well and then start to pour into each mold. I poured a thin layer and lifted and tilted the molds to easily spread the resin. And here I am the next day demolding. It was a little bit of a messy pour and some of the resin reached out of the mold, so I'm using an X-Acto knife to remove any lifted areas. Now you can leave your piece like this and it's a pretty cool effect, but personally I wasn't entirely happy with these coasters, so I decided to do another layer and to prepare them for that I applied liquid latex on the edges of the bottom side of the coasters. This will protect the bottom side since I'm doing a layer of resin out of the mold so that any resin that flows over the coaster won't cure onto the coaster but will easily come off with the liquid latex. I use a silicone makeup brush to help spread the liquid latex to the very edge. I propped them onto cups, mixed in my resin once more, and then separated it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. I first started by pouring some clear resin onto each coaster in areas where I wanted that plastic wrap effect to peek through. Then I mixed in my pigments, and the first pigment I'm using is just resin's pigment paste in the shade Titanium White. 
I always make sure to mix pigment paste in the container first before adding a small amount into my cup of resin. Then I use this black pigment by Resin Pro and I only added a little bit more than one drop. And next I'm using Resin Pro's metallic powder in the shade Oro Rico. After I've mixed each pigment into the resin, I pour the three different shades into one cup and very slightly mix them together to do a dirty pour. And then I started pouring onto my coasters. The next day, I used a combination of acrylic markers and gloss paint markers to draw on some lines. And I did one more coat as my top coat to seal that all in. And here's a clip of me removing the liquid latex along with the little resin drops the next day. And any drops that have managed to slightly attach to your resin coaster and not come off with the liquid latex can easily come off either by just with your fingers or if it's on there a little bit stronger, you can use an X-Acto knife to easily remove it. And I used a gold edding marker to add on my gold trim. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.